Okay, I'd like to talk about chord formulas for major scales and also for minor scales. The chords that are inside of the major scale and the chords that are in the minor scale. So first, the most important thing is we have to know the major scale of whatever we're looking at. So I know the C major scale very easy. I write it down here. And I also do note that there is two spaces, two spaces, one space. You have to know the spacing in between the different notes. It's easy for C because it's just all the natural letters. But when you look at other scales, you have to know the spacing in between the letters so that you get the sharps and flats right. And that's what another video I did was about. So if you haven't watched that video or, you know, you just don't know um, the uh, uh, that's some weird fuzzy stuff in my hair, man. <laughs> Ah, it looked good before, and now it's all messed up. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> if you don't know all the different, um, <clears throat> yeah, if you don't know how to construct, if you haven't seen that video, it's going to be really hard for you to follow along when I create all the different scale um, chord formulas. But basically, here it is. We have these Roman numerals down here, and this is our formula for building m the chords in the major scale. You have to remember this formula, capital I, lowercase 2, lowercase 3, and then here we go, the 4 and the 5 are both big, and then the main, the, the 5 here, oh, this is a 6, my bad, okay, and then the 7 over here, so this is, a, this is a little dot right here, and this signifies diminished, so basically each one of these represents either major, minor, or diminished in this case, so let's just apply this formula to our, um, to our letters and just kind of add the minors in and the diminished at the end. So that's how I've come up with these chords is using this formula. I mean it's just kind of a, a given formula. There isn't really a better way to you know calculate this. Uh, this is just the simplest form possible. It's just the laws. <laughs> so you follow the rules, you follow the laws and, uh, and then you can start to make scales. So let's uh let's just kind of try some other my major scales here. If I do A, well, first of all, again, I have to know the notes of A major. So let me write them all down here. It goes A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and then back to A. So I know where the sharps are because I've already calculated this in another video. But um, but now that I've found the whole scale, now I can just apply the chord formula. So minor here, minor there, minor here, and diminished up there. This is just the way you do it, and it's pretty uh, pretty easy. So then we head to maybe I'll try one more. Here's a G. I know that the uh, G A B C D E F sharp here at the end. Let's just apply the minor, the minor, the minor, and the diminished here. So this is very simple to do. The only hard part is calculating the scale formula, right? To just know what notes are in the scale, and then just me memorize the uh, formula right there that you see. Um, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you just have to memorize that. There's some things in music you have to memorize. Other things you, you can calculate or get away with calculating. You don't have to memorize everything in music. It's kind of like formulas for math. You don't have to memorize the answer to the formula. You have to memorize the formula. So you don't have to memorize the answer to the formula, which is this. You just have to memorize the formula. I've memorized one answer to the formula, which is the natural one. All the other stuff, even for G, which is basically the exact same thing, I don't know the chords in G major. I know that there's an F sharp at the end. I happen to have that memorized, I guess, just because... Um, you know, just because it's one. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there's some of these where you just kind of memorize, like, you know, F has a B flat or, you know, whatever. But the chords themselves, you have to calculate. So the only thing I'd like you to actually memorize is the first two, the C major chords and also the formula for major. All the rest, you have to calculate it. Okay, so now let's head into the minor section. And again, we have the same exact... Uh, um, method here so I'm just gonna add in the diminished there the minor here the minor here and we have to start with a little I go to the diminished we have a capital C here on um, the lowercase D the lowercase E the F and the G are both major so this is um just the minor formula 
This was the major and this is minor. So let's go ahead and try to calculate some minor skits. I'll start with a C. Uh, I have well, we have to now calculate the scales of of the minors. So you again have to have seen that video to be able to follow along here. But I know that the scale of C minor is D, E flat, F, G, A flat, and then B flat here at the end. Yes. So I know the scale of C sharp, the C minor, and um, now that I know that scale, I can apply the formula over this. So we have to put the diminished here, the minor here at the beginning, the minor on the four and the five, and then the rest is major. Okay, so you can see how there's three minor chords, one, two, three, and then three major chords, one, two, three. In major, the one, four, five is major. In minor, the one, four, five is minor. All right, so let's go ahead and try a couple more. Well, I suppose we'll look at the D, uh, E, F, G, a, B flat, C, and that will be <coughs> the D minor scale. And I'll just apply these, this formula over the chords, and I have finished. Very fast, very easy. The hard part is knowing what the scale of, of the minor scale is. So the chord, just again, memorize the formula. It's hard to block this off, but just memorize the formula, which is the Roman numerals. Memorize that, and you can create any uh, any chord progression in any key that you want to. Now, I've made another video on how to create chord progressions. All you're gonna wanna do is choose four of these chords basically at random. You can, you can just kind of write random numbers down or roll some dice or just put your finger eeny, meeny, miny, mo type of thing, and you just make some chord progressions. And, um, and then it's gonna sound good. This formula allows you to choose chords at random, seemingly at random, but they're, they're all part of the same key. So it's gonna sound good no matter what you do. All right, so um, hopefully this was informative and I'll see you in the next video.